and it's leaking right there. Well, that's not good. So today I'm going to show you how to fix these leaks in this faucet. The first step on servicing this RV faucet is going to be shutting off the water supply so you don't make a mess when you're working on it. After you've turned off the water supply, open a spigot to relieve the water pressure that's built up inside the lines. In order to remove the faucet handles, you've got to remove the covers over the screws. In this case, I'm using a small flat blade screwdriver to pry up the cover on the top of the cold water handle. Then I'm using a number two Phillips screwdriver to unscrew the screw on the top of the cold water handle. Once the screw is removed, it's easy to just slip the handle off of the top of the spigot. This whole faucet's made out of plastic, so a lot of force shouldn't be needed in any case but I'm using a pair of channel locks to remove the nut on top of the spigot. After that, you're gonna pull the cold water valve straight up. But before you do, you wanna make note of where the flat is on the top of the stem so that the handles fit correct when you reinstall it. To remove the stem, you just wiggle it back and forth and pull it up. You'll notice on this stem, I have two O-rings and both of them can be replaced to eliminate leaks. Also on the bottom, you can see the two holes that allow water to come through. In the bottom of the spigot where the valve sat, you're going to find a cup seal and a spring that goes below it. You need to gently remove both of those. The cup seal can also leak and it can be replaced as well. Once you've got the cup seal and the stem removed, you can take those parts to the hardware store or your big box store and get replacement parts. They actually sell the whole stem and you can just replace it in one unit if you want. To reassemble this, you want to put the spring into that little hole where the cup seal goes with the top of the spring being the small end. And then you want to carefully slip that cup seal into that hole without damaging it. That seal does not need to be scratched or cut while you're putting it in. So you want to gently push it into that hole. Once you've replaced those two O-rings, you could put a little petroleum jelly on them to help it slide back into place while you push the stem in. You have two alignment tabs on that stem. And so before you push that stem all the way in, you wanna make sure those alignment tabs are oriented correctly so that your faucet handle fits correctly when you're finished. Here you can see how I've installed it wrong and I can pull the stem up, turn it 180 degrees, push it back down, and the handle location is correct. Once I've aligned the stem properly, I can slide the stem down into place and then I can put the nut on top of it. I usually give the nut a little snug fit with the channel locks. Again, this is plastic or nylon. You don't need to put a lot of muscle on this. Then all that's left to do is put the handle on top of the stem, reinstall the Phillips screw and snap the cover in place on top of the cold water faucet handle. At that point, your job should be done. Turn the water back on, check for leaks, and you shouldn't have any more leaks around that faucet handle. Now it's time to reach in the fridge and get a cool drink and sit back and pat yourself on the back for a job well done.